So today uh, we will look at the third lecture. So it's uh, on thermodynamic cycles. So we uh, briefly um, touched upon, well, we talked about um, the Carnot cycle and uh, <coughs> and an ideal cycle. So uh, we, are, we will look at how the actual internal combustion engine cycle works and how the thermodynamic theory can be applied to internal combustion engines. So uh, we'll look at thermodynamic cycles basically. So for the as for the learning objectives uh, for today, uh, by the end of the, uh, the day today, you should be able to describe the operation of auto and diesel cycles, describe the auto cycle and uh, <coughs> and functions and uh, convince with how the processes work and derive um, ideal cycle efficiency for auto and diesel cycles. Uh, and then uh, we will uh, briefly touch, touch upon the dual cycle, uh, which is a combination of auto and diesel cycles, uh, as well as calculate the temperatures and pressures on a thermodynamic cycle, how to, cal how to calculate the temperatures and pressures on, on a thermodynamic cycle. So, uh, <clears throat> with a little bit of a revision so this is uh, what the cylinder uh, and the bow, uh, cylinder and the piston uh, will look like so we talked about the bow uh, the stroke uh, the clearance volume the total volume compression ratio um, engine displacement uh, bow stroke ratio mains piston speed etc so you need to have an understanding of what these are to understand uh, the theory okay um right so um you you you'll see uh two um PV, two two diagrams here pv and a ts diagram so uh what is an what, what is an isothermal process uh, in this um so uh, um po take a po post the video and uh and, Tell me what it is. Uh, so, uh, so process C is an isothermal process. So, and for the next one, so which is uh, an isochoric process. So, pause again and uh, think for yourself. So, this is an isochoric process. Process B. Process B is an isochoric process. Isochoric means a constant volume. So, uh, then. Uh, what is an isentropic process? Isentropic process uh, is, a, is, an, is a process where um, S or entropy is, the, uh, is constant. So uh, process D is an isochoric process. Uh, and uh, then what is an isobaric process? Isobaric means uh, the pressure is constant. So uh, what it, uh, it should be A. So um, this is a brief uh, description of the terminology. Isobaric is uh, where the iso means one uh, or single, baric means um, pressure. So single pressure, isobaric uh, is uh, pressure isn't here. Isochoric, isochoric means choric uh, means volume. So um, isochoric means uh, single volume, meaning constant volume. Isothermal means term means term uh, the uh, temperature. So um, isothermal uh, means the constant means constant temperature process. And an adiabatic process is a is a is an ideal process process where no heat transfer between the system and the surroundings uh, whilst the process is being taken place. So that means there is no heat loss, and and uh, energy is only tra transferred as work in an in an adiabatic process. So and uh, in it's an ideal process only, and uh, an isentropic process is a is a constant entropy entropy process. Uh, so it it's a, it's a reversible adiabatic process uh, as an, an isentropic process. Then uh, change in internal internal energy is uh, u two minus u one. Uh, so that is m c v t two minus t one. So uh, remember. For internal energy, you use, you use CV, and in, for change in enthalpy, it's H two minus H one. You use uh, MCP, CPT two minus two. So, any polytropic process, 
polytropic is a, there's a polytropic index here so so, an ultra, uh, so t2 or t1 is equal to p2 or p1 n minus 1 over n so that is uh, your it's polytropic case and it's true so if you uh replace if you, if you use pv pv over t is equal to a constant you can you can derive uh, v, v1 and v2 as well and in the sense you can re represent t2 over t1 uh, uh, over uh, v, v, v2 over v1 so these relationships you, you should be able to uh, derive and then we'll look at air standard cycles so um, first we uh, we will talk about the auto cycle auto cycle is a closed cycle and uh, then we look at the diesel cycle diesel cycle is also a closed cycle so which, which is similar to a auto cycle uh, in the operation but uh, the, the difference is uh, ignition is uh, initiated in the auto cycle by an ignition by a spark plug or a spark in the diesel cycle it's auto ignition auto ignition in the in the sense it's, uh, it ignites itself and then uh, there, there, there is the joule brayton cycle or, or the uh, gas turbine cycle so, uh, we are not going to talk about this but uh, when you talk about air standard cycles we, we have to look at all three but the first two uh, auto and diesel cycles are closed cycles whereas the joule brayton cycle is an open cycle so for so closed cycles we use uh, the uh, non-flow energy equation uh, or, or the first and or the first law, uh, or first law of thermodynamics, um, and for dual Brayton cycle or the open cycle, we use uh, steady flow energy equation. Um, so we'll uh, see how how those equations can be used uh, to describe this. And then um, this is an ideal auto cycle uh, drawn in a PV diagram. Uh, so uh, this. In this one uh, to two relate to work uh, here and three to four relate to work and uh, uh, two, to, uh, two, two, two to three uh, relate to um, heat addition uh, four to one also uh, relate to heat uh, uh, as heat release. so this is the, this is the air yeah, standard cycle but we will go through uh, this one uh, so so we'll we'll look at how, how we will produce the auto cycle uh, uh, in the diagram. So if you, you take a PV diagram, so uh, first it's an isobaric process, okay. uh, and that is induction. Uh, then compression is an isentropic proce process. Then uh, heat addition is, is is an isochoric process because we say so suction compression. So at the end of compression, uh, you, you uh, ignite. So the piston hasn't moved yet. So therefore, uh, it's an isochoric process. So then, three to four is uh, combustion. So it's, uh, com com combustion or com due to combustion, the piston moves. So therefore, the, you will do work. So that's the process four. And then uh, exhaust. Exhaust is here. So you take the exhaust out and exhaust here. But uh, these two processes, uh, 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, uh, they do the same amount of work. Uh, therefore, we just ignore them. So, so we use uh, only this on the lap uh, for the uh, auto cycle uh, PV diagram. Okay. So no network is done between, between 0 and 1. Therefore, we neglect them. So one and two, no heat transfer takes place uh, during compression stroke. Therefore, uh, it, it's an isentropic process. And uh, in gas gasoline is fast burning, so therefore it, it burns before uh, the piston moves. Therefore, it's an isent isochoric process. And um, so there is no heat transfer during work. Do doing the work uh, in the, between three to four in the combustion process, in the uh, work done process. Uh, so. Uh, Therefore, uh, th th this is an isentropic process. So, um, and uh, exhaust of gas is in, uh, instantaneous. Therefore, four to one is an isochoric process as well. Then, 
the ideal cycle we draw it uh, an isentropic uh, compression in the in the ds diagram and uh, as a coric process uh, for for the for two to three uh, which is the <coughs> combustion and three to four is an isentropic process uh, and four to one is an isochoric process so the you see one to two and three to four no change in s so it, it's a it's a straight line uh, along the ts diagram uh, from uh, going from one to two and coming from three to four so then we will uh, try to so define the efficiency for uh, thermal efficiency for uh, the auto cycle uh, so thermal efficiency is the work done over heat heat uh, in so th uh, the, for the work done we need to uh, calculate the uh, area within this pv diagram and heat in we need to calculate the um, heat in uh, in the process uh, heat addition process and uh, finally we will come to uh, this um, conclusion where your um, Efficiency, thermal efficiency is one over uh, one minus one over R V uh, gamma minus one. R is the uh, volume compression ratio. So usually we use a, a subscript here V R V, uh, but uh, for the moment we use just R. And uh, if you use uh, first law of thermodynamics, uh, delta U or the internal energy change is Q net minus W net. Therefore, uh, change in internal energy is zero for an isentropic uh, uh, for, for, for this process. So, so W net is uh, equal to uh, Q net uh, in this case. So that is, there is no internal energy change. Okay. So therefore, your work done is uh, Q net over Q in uh, or Q at Q net over Q in because uh, work, work work done over Q heat in is it is Q work done is equal to Q net therefore it Q net over heat in is Q in is a uh, thermal efficiency. So this will be Q two three minus Q four one over Q two three. So that is Q two three minus Q four one over Q two three. So it should be the uh, uh, should be the efficiency. Okay. So uh, Q Q Q two three is the uh, heat that you, that you will uh, that you will add from here q q41 is the heat that will reject from here uh, so if you uh, you look at so 23 is a uh, constant volume process therefore uh, you need to you need to calculate the heat addition for a constant volume process here and 4 to 1 is also a constant volume process so for that also you uh, Use uh, the uh, constant volume uh, heat addition process, heat release process. So, if you remember previously, we said for. Uh, change in internal energy u2 minus u1 is mcvt2 minus u1 so that means change in energy can be described with uh, mv mcvt okay all right so therefore you can um, say that your uh, So this this T two and this T one are not related to this T two uh, and T one. Okay, so this is pointing T two T one. So therefore, uh, for heat up, so it, uh, thermal efficiency, you can uh, always say um, uh, two to three uh, is uh, Q, MCV T three minus T two, and four to one is MCV T four minus T one. So we, we take the positive quantities here. Uh, therefore, that the, you can you can Q two three is uh, MCV T T two minus T T three three 
put one is mcv t4 minus t1 so we, we consider here the cv doesn't change during the process okay so therefore you can write the equation like this so therefore you can if you take the cv off you can write this equation as a uh, um, 1 minus t4 minus t1 t, t4 minus t1 over t3 minus t2 because here uh, you can uh, say uh, your uh, <coughs> you can you can equate this to uh, t4 or minus uh, t1 and it is minus t2 so uh, this is this is what you you will get at the end so it, it's a matter of fine it's a matter of finding a relationship between t1 t2 t3 t3 and t4 so we'll see how we can do that so um so we can if we, if we uh, represent the thermal efficiency in terms of uh, temperature ratio uh, we we can we will be able to uh, get uh, t4 t1 t2 t, t3 uh, in in the same platform so how we do how, how we do that is uh, we substitute the temperature ratios uh, to this equation okay so we'll see how we do that so uh, you can write this this one as uh, so if you divide everything by if, if you divide that the top by t1 and bottom by t2 so so what you do what you do here is uh, so you take the take t1 out here that means you you um, so you take the t1 out here so that means you you divide this side by t1 so you, you have t1 out t4 so t, when you take t1 out from here it's t4 t1 here it's one you take t2 out here so that would be uh, uh, T3 divided by T2, and this, if you take T2 out from here, that is 1. So that, that will be, uh, uh, so the so your equation becomes uh, that form. So then you can uh, substitute uh, T4 over T1 by T4 over T3 times T3 over T2 and times T2 over T1. Okay, so you can you can write write, the, write it like this. Okay, so that means you, you, you are not doing anything. You are just substitute. You are just multiplying and dividing dividing it by t three and multiplying and dividing in by t three. You don't do anything basically. Okay. So then uh, you you can say that your t one. Uh, uh, v1 gamma minus 1 is equal to t2 v2 gamma minus 1 that means uh, t2 over t1 is uh, v1 over v2 gamma minus 1 so that is rv gamma minus 1 so rv gamma minus 1 is the completion ratio and then uh, for 2 3 you can write uh, v, v2 or v, v, v2 or t2 uh, equals p3 v3 over t3 that yields t3 over t2 is p2 t3 over p2 that that means that is t3 over t, t2 is equal to rp rp is the uh, pressure ratio and uh, for an isentropic process you can say t3 v3 gamma minus 1 is equal to t4 v4 gamma minus 1 that yields t4 over t3 so t4 over t3 is uh, v3 over v4 gamma minus 1 v2 and that is also equals to v2 uh, v2 over v1, v1 gamma minus 1 so that will give you t4 over t3 is equal to 1 over rv r gamma minus 1 okay. so what you do here is um, so for, for, for example uh, 3 3 and 4 right for 3 for 3 and 4 this is this is a this this process is uh, an isentropic process for an isentropic process you can say you can always say uh, your oh, oh for example one to one to two um, so here you can uh, for, for any isentropic process you can say uh, t1 v1 gamma minus one is equal to t2 v2 gamma minus one okay so that is what to do Then, uh, if you substitute for t2 over t1 and uh, t3 over t, t, t2 and t4 over t3, 
you will get uh, this equation so uh, R, rp cancels off basically uh, and you will get uh, thermal efficiency as one equals one one minus one over gamma one, gamma minus one so this is what you get as the thermal efficiency